What if, Midjourney could mimic your personal art style? With Midjourney's new style tuner, you can create personalized styles, and apply them to any image of your choice. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the style tuner, to create unlimited personal styles. Let's get started. Here is the official announcement of this feature inside Midjourney Discord server. Let me start the process, by going to my custom Discord server for Midjourney. I can create a style tuner by typing, backslash tune command, like this. Once you press enter, it will ask for the prompt. Midjourney, tunes the styles for the given prompt. So, let me add the prompt as, illustration of a content creator working in his personal office. Let me run the prompt. Now, Midjourney asks whether we want to create the style tuner. It shows the prompt I added for tuning. By default, it's set to 32 style directions, and default mode. 32 directions means it will create 64 images in total, as 32 pairs with different styles. We have 16, 32, 64 and 128 as the options for style directions. Also, we can choose default mode, or raw mode. Another important thing is the cost. 32 option will cost 0.3 GPU hours. Roughly, it's similar to creating 18 images. 16 directions is the lowest cost option with 0.15 hours, and 128 directions is highest with 1.2 hours. I am going to create the tuner with 16 style directions. When I click the submit button, it asks for confirmation again. This is likely due to the high cost. Let me confirm, and wait for mid-journey to complete creation. It could take few minutes. Now, the style tuner is ready. Let me click on the link to load the tuner. Tuners are loaded in separate subdomain called tuner.midjourney.com. As you can see, tuner is specially created for the prompt. So, it's going to work for similar prompts. It may or may not work for prompts, which are considerably different to original prompt. Let me start the style tuning process. There are two options. First option is comparing two styles at a time. Let's start with that one. In each row, there are four images on left and right. In the middle there is empty square, selected by default. Based on your preference, you should select the style on the left, or style on the right. Here, it will show the number of selections out of 16. If you don't like both, you can select the middle square. You have to check all 16 rows and make the necessary selections. Based on what I experienced so far, selecting few similar styles, would lead to predictable and quality style. If you select many different type of styles, the resulting style will generate highly unpredictable images. As you can see, there are 32 options covering wide range of styles. If you select 128 directions tuner, there will be 256 choices covering even higher range of styles. Now, let me select some styles for this tuner. I am going to select this colorful style. Also, I am going to select this one as it's slightly similar and colorful. However, they are two different styles. Now, I have selected two out of 16 choices. The style code is ready to use. As soon as we make a selection, Midjourney generates a style code. Each time we make a change, Midjourney generates a new style code. Let me copy the prompt with generated style code. Let me switch to Discord and create an image with this style. We can add any style to our prompt by using, dash dash, style, space, style code. Now, I'm going to make a minor modification to the prompt. Let's create the new prompt with the style we generated. Now, I have the image for new prompt. It's a combination of the two styles we selected in the tuner. Let me create another, to check consistency of the style. First, add the prompt, followed by style parameter, and style value. Let me run the new prompt. Here, are the results. The images seems to be in the same style. However, Number 2 and 4 seems photos, more than illustrations. The reason is, I tuned the style for illustrations. So, 
It works best when we generate illustrations. Let me try this style on a completely different prompt. I am going to create multi-panel composition for season changes. Here we have the images. Looks like these images also follow the same style. Let me show you the output without the style, so that you can compare the effect of applying styles. These are the results, without using the style. As you can see, using a style makes major difference to the output. Let me reset the tuner. Now, the two options are unchecked. In the previous example, I tune the style by comparing two styles at a time. Now, I'm going to use the second method, which is picking favorite images from a grid. Here, you get a grid of 32 images with different styles. You have to select the images you like. Unlike first method, you don't have to compare two styles. I am going to only select this one, which is a minimal illustration. Let me scroll down to find the style code. Let's copy the style code and create a new image. This time, the prompt is, two people having a discussion about AI. Then, let me add the style code. Let's see what we get. Now, we have a minimalistic illustration, exactly like the one we selected in Tuner. Let's see if the style works for multi-composition prompt. I am going to copy the multi-panel composition prompt, and then add the style code. Let me run the prompt. It looks like the minimalist style is applied even to this prompt. So, it means, even though we tune the style for a specific prompt, it will work for many other type of prompts. Next, I am going to show you how to create multiple styles, with same style tuner. Let me refresh the browser, to reset the tuner. Now, I am going to use the grid again. Let me select some other options to create a new style. I have selected two options with similar styles. Now, I have a new style code at the bottom. Let me go to Discord, and create an image with new style code. Let me use the same multi-panel compositions prompt. This time the output is slightly different. However, there are similarities with the styles I selected. It's difficult to remember style codes. So, I'm going to show you how to save and reuse them inside Midjourney Discord server. First, I'm going to copy this code along with the style parameter. Now, type backslash, prefer, space, option, space, set, and click enter. It will ask for an option name. I am going to name it as, illustration underscore one. Click the tab button. It shows another option called value. Click on that option, and paste the copied style as value. Now, run the command. It shows that my style was added as a custom option. Type backslash prefer, and select the options list. Here, you can see all the custom options. The style I created is right at the bottom. Let me create an image using the custom option. First, I have to type the prompt. Then, I have to add dash dash, illustration underscore one. Let me run the command. As you can see, custom option is automatically replaced, to style code at runtime. So, we only have to remember the style name, not the code. Here I have the images with the same style. You can save as many styles as custom options. However, it would be difficult to manage very large number of styles, with custom options. So far, I created style tuners based on a text prompt. Let me show you how to build one from image prompts. First, let me upload an image using upload icon in Discord server. Here, I am uploading an image that contains various trees as a grid of small images. This can be generated by using the word, contact sheet, in Midjourney. I am going to copy the URL of the image. Then, 
I am initializing a new tuner by using the tune command. I am going to start the prompt with an image, by pasting the URL of the image. Then I am going to type a text prompt as second parameter. We can't only use an image, as two parameters are mandatory. The prompt I use is, contact sheet of trees. Let me run the command to create a new tuner. Now, you can see that image URL is also part of the prompt. I am going to select 16 style directions again. Let me submit and confirm the creation of the tuner. Now, the tuner is created. Let me click the URL and open it. As you can see, the prompt for the tuner shows the image URL. Let's test this by creating a style. I am going to use the grid mode. Let me select these two styles. And maybe this one. Now, I am going to copy the style code and create an image in Discord server. I am going to use the prompt as, trees. Followed by the style code. Let's see what the results look like. Here, it follows the style. But the results doesn't look great. I tuned it for contact sheets. Let's see if creating a contact sheet makes any difference. Now, I have a good results with the style. Since the style is tuned for contact sheets, it works best for prompts with contact sheet. Creating tuners and styles cost you mid-journey credits. I am going to show you how to generate random styles for free. First, I have to start with a prompt. Since I am going to use random style, I can use any prompt. I am prompting for a cartoon style image of a person, having a conversation with a chatbot. Then, I am going to add the style parameter. I am going to use the word random, instead of the style code. Let me run the prompt. As you can see, the word random converts into a style code at runtime. These style codes are generated by mid-journey, without tuners. Now, I have a set of images with a style that matches cartoons. Let me try this random style on a different prompt. This time I am using the prompt as, child running after a dog. Now, I have the results. It seems style is slightly different, probably because I didn't add the cartoon style. Let me try the same prompt, by adding the cartoon style. Let me run it and wait for the results. As you can see, the generated images are in same style as the original set of images. So, changing the prompt to a completely different type has major effect, even on random styles as well. In this section, I will show you how to get your own style tuners, or tuners created by others, by using the style code. Let me copy this style code. This is a random style code generated by Midjourney. Now, open browser and type tuner.midjourney.com, slash, code. Then, add another slash, followed by the style code. Now, press the enter button to load the URL. It says, sorry we could not find a style tuner. The reason is that Midjourney doesn't have tuner for randomly generated styles. So, we can't find or modify tuners for random styles. Now, let me try with a style created within my style tuners. I am going to copy this style code. Let me add it to tuner.midjourney.com, slash code. Let's see if this works. Here, I have the tuner for the style. I can view the selected image grids for this style. Also, I can check how many selections are made, by scrolling to the bottom. Let me show you how to combine multiple styles, and build new styles. First, I'm going to copy an existing style code. Now, I'm going to create an image for a dark rainforest. I am adding the style parameter and code, after the prompt. Now, let me find another style to combine. I am going to copy this style, as the second style code. Let me add a dash, after the first style code, and paste the second style code. Now, the two codes are combined with a dash. The complete string with the dash, is the code for the new style. Let me run the prompt. Here are the images with the combination of two styles. I only combined two style codes. 
You can mix style codes, as well as add more than two, to generate infinite number of new styles with this method. Finally, I'm going to show you, how I organize styles using custom Discord server. Earlier, I used custom options to store styles. However, I prefer this method, as I can keep more info than style code. First, we need a custom Discord server. Click on the Add Server icon to create a new server. Choose, Create My Own option. Select for me and my friends. I am going to name it as Custom Midjourney Styles. Click the Create button. Now, the custom server is ready. Now, I have to add the Midjourney bot to my server. Let me go to the Midjourney server. On the right column, you can find the Midjourney bot. Click on the Midjourney bot. Now, I have to click Add App button. I am going to select my custom Midjourney style server. Click Continue button. Authorize the app to complete the process. Let me go to my custom server again. Now, the server is ready to handle the styles. Let me create a category to manage styles. I am going to name it as illustrations. Now, let me grab one of the styles I created earlier. Let me copy this style for minimal illustrations. Now, I am going to create a channel called minimal, under the illustrations category. I am adding the style code as a Discord message, so that I can easily find the style code for each channel. Next, I am going to upload an image I created using this style. This allows me to identify the style with a quick preview, before creating images with it. As you can see, I can see the style code and image for each channel. Let me copy another style code for illustrations. I am going to create another illustration channel called Colorful. I am going to add the style code, and preview image like last time. Now, let me create an image in this channel, to see if the style code is working. I am prompting for an illustration of a person reading a book. Let's wait for the results. Now, I have the images using that style. I found it very easy to track styles, and create images with them, using this categorization. Let me know how you do it, in the comments section. That's it for today. Hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and like this video to see more AI related videos.